So a couple of nights ago, I had this dream. I was in a big empty field in the middle of nowhere where a woman was performing what looked like a fire ritual. A little bit after, an army arrived. Soldiers, choppers, tanks, the whole thing. Suddenly, I was inside a limo talking to what seemed to be a politician. I have no idea if this has any meaning at all, but the interesting part to me is that when I was in the car, I started wondering why the army had arrived and my mind seemed to fill in the hole with a memory of me talking to one of the soldiers where he explained that the embers of the fire had flown into the politician's office in the city and because he was bothered by this, he had sent the army to this field to stop the ritual. So when I woke up, I was fascinated by how the mind was able to patch holes in a story so quickly. That got me thinking about the connection between creativity and dreams. I have encountered many people in my life that have told me, I am not creative. But these same people, create incredible visuals, sounds, smells and tastes, using only pieces of memories, and mix them in such a way that they create not only completely original and amazing stories, but complete worlds so engaging that they feel they're real. Every time we hit that REM sleep, we have experiences in worlds that our mind is creating in real time. Also, many of us have heard the stories of scientists that have been able to solve problems through visions in their dreams, or musicians hearing the melodies of their famous songs in dreams. So how come we can be so creative in our dreams and not so much in our waking life? Seems like when we are sleeping, some parts of our brain shut down, so we connect ideas that we wouldn't normally connect, like listening to the conversation about artificial intelligence between a bear and a porcupine on a very small planet. If we were to make an analogy, these ice cubes would be objects from waking life we have stored in our brains, and our notion of what reality should be is like the cold inside a freezer. Our perceptions, beliefs and values are what keep this idea solid, so when we are awake, we cannot mix them together. The more we are attached to our notions of the world, the colder the freezer is, and the more solid the ice cubes are, so it becomes impossible to mix these ideas together. But when we dream, we turn off that cold. Now, seemingly unmixable things can be combined and new things are created. We can defy any rules of how reality is or should be when these new associations can be made. I see a lot of parallels of this with meditation, where we lose the focus on our judgmental mind to expand our awareness. When we meditate, we can in a sense melt the borders of our perceived reality by releasing the way our minds tend to conceptualize reality based on our own beliefs and desires. Actually, there is what is called dream yoga, a tantric technique existing in some doctrines like Tibetan Buddhism that merge lucid dreaming with meditation. I feel that by exploring these states, such as meditation and dreaming, we can gain new insights on how to unlock creativity on an experiential level. Maybe creativity has to do less with trying to do something with our minds and more with letting go of the notions of what reality should be. I've had a little experience with lucid dreaming some years ago and for the next weeks I would like to start practicing again to make another video on the link between creativity and dreams. So stay tuned. I'm Garunt. Thanks for watching.